youtubers welcome back to my channel today we're gonna we're gonna work a very unusual stone the lones the lones daleite which is in here it's a uh, it's made of carbon just like a diamond or graphite so it's an allotropic uh, form of carbon uh, one of the configurations where how the carbon crystallizes and the hardness should be around eight and a half nine on a more scale this is the first time it happens to me uh, somebody gave it to me to to touch it up and I'm trying to I'll try to actually treat it like a sapphire I try to polish it as a sapphire so I can show you the way that I do and uh, yeah let's see what happens because this is the first time okay let's have a look Okay, here's the material. There you go. It's startling. It has a very high diffraction and a very high uh, refractive index. In fact, it's similar to the diamond, if not even above. You can see it. It's fantastic. Now, the problem is that there are some scratches on the surface here and there, which, which we'll have to um, fix. There is a pavilion, a problem in the pavilion, there is a chip in the pavilion here. So we're gonna fix these defects and I want to approach the stone since I never cut. I want to approach it um, like a sapphire. Let's first have to dock it and after that we just go straight to the polishing. So stay, stay tuned we'll see what's going on. And just a little update before cutting to show you something. Look at the quality, I mean, is, this stone is already docked with a wax uh, which is, uh, you know, attached to the surface of the, of the stone. But look, it doesn't matter, you won't see it in any case for how high the, the optical qualities of this material are. You can't see the difference between the attachment to the black wax and the free stone. Yeah, okay, let's go on. What I put on now, this is um, a ceramic lap from Crystallite, and I usually uh, use it to, to um, polish the sapphires. I love polishing sapphires with this thing. Now I'll show you the way I prepare these laps. It's not too difficult, but you, you gotta get it. I mean, you gotta uh, discover how. Not everybody tells you the truth, and not everybody tells you the tricks, but here yeah, you can learn it. So. I'm, I don't mind uh, sharing it with you. So the first thing I do, I just take a, like a, a liquid uh, lubricant, okay? So what I do, just spray it a bit on the surface. And so it, it's, you know, it dissolves whatever I did the other time previously. And I just pass a cloth, clean cloth on top. In a way, this actually what what this action does is to remove any par any particle from previous faceting or from pre previous polishing. You know, earlier I was polishing a sapphire on top of it. I don't want any residue to be on the lap uh, while while polishing this another stone, which is softer. Okay, now once you do that. You take 50,000 grit diamond powder and you just put it on top like this. Everywhere, on the whole surface. You know the lab uh, is almost dry. It doesn't have to be too wet out of the uh, lubricant. Okay, and once it's done, take again your clean cloth, your clean, your clean uh, serviette or piece of paper, and you wipe it again, and then it's ready. Now it's ready. So let's see how does it perform with uh, this stone. not too high, you just softly touch it in it and you achieve the polish very quickly. You can see here 
the streak is the streak is black because that's carbon okay if it would have been another, any other stone or a spatherite for example it would have been looking like that at all this is a black uh, black streak because it's a uh, it's carbon okay um, you can see from the pictures the before and after on the single facet that I did but uh, that's basically the way that you use the the ceramic labs um, yeah you keep them a bit moist with the with a bit of oil very little amount of diamond almost has to look uh, dry and then you delicate you know you go delicate on it until you achieve the polishing okay I'll show you the final result another thing I want to show you is that I usually I don't use water water dripping on the, on the lab I just allow the stone to cool off by itself releasing the pressure and you go on like that so in this case you got to be taking care of your wax otherwise it's gonna melt because the heat might accumulate yeah it polishes very quickly I could probably polish it even on the tin lab okay I'm done with the top um, I took off all the scratches from uh, mostly with the, the, um, the fats on the girdle mostly we're on the brakes brake facets um, and then I added up even a tiny uh, all around bevel at 60 degrees just to remove all the little chips between the brakes and the, and the girdle now we're going to the bottom because there is a bit cheap uh, pavilion and uh, some other scratches on some other facets. So let's transfer it. Okay, I actually switched to the tin lab, uh, dressed with a bit of 50,000 diamond grit powder and the cerium oxide I switched to the to the tin because the ceramic works but until it actually accumulate a bit of uh, um, stuff from the stone itself and then become start getting uh, scratchy that you have to clean it with the with the lubricant and take off with the paper and then reload it again so it becomes kind of too much work instead with the tin lab it goes much quicker and the results are much, uh, much better, much better, at least for the, for this kind of stone. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> and we see each other again next time with another tutorial. Okay, like and subscribe. God bless you and bye bye.